Weird choice, right? I don't care. Tonight we got to do it. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm telling you, we're going to do a number that I think could only be done on Canadian television because it is so hip. The producer of this show, her name is Louise Wood, and I remember because it was my mother's maiden name, Wood. She was Shirley Wood from Toronto, Canada. Louise came to me and said, I'd like you to do, what do you think about doing an organ summit with you and the three greatest organ players alive? And I said, holy cow, what an idea. And she made it happen. She knew who to call. She called the greatest organist, and it's a dying art, but we got him here tonight, and you're going to hear something that I don't think you'll ever hear again. Ladies and gentlemen, first, it gives me a great deal of pleasure to introduce my friend, the last of the best, and one of the greatest, funkiest, downest soul organ players on the planet, Dr. Lonnie Smith, ladies and gentlemen. Doctor, thank you for being here. Over here, a man who I studied when I was supposed to be studying sociology at the University of Toronto from where I graduated in about 1971 or two. I can't exactly remember. If you remember the 70s, you weren't, you weren't there. But I was mostly at George's Spaghetti House listening to this band play funky soul organ with the best of them. Ladies and gentlemen, Canada's own Doug Riley. We used to call him Dr. Music, so we've got two, really three doctors. I hold the doctorate from Lakehead University up in Thunder Bay. And this man came from Philadelphia, PA, to blow us all away. Ladies and gentlemen, the greatest, Mr. Joey D. Francesco. Joey, thank you for being here. I got an organ up here myself. This is a Hammond B3 organ. And we're gonna do a little tribute, the four of us, and the great Oren Isaacs and the house band. How about that band, ladies and gentlemen? This is by the late, great Jimmy Smith. It's called The Cat. Here we go. One, two, three, four, one.
That's the way to back up fame right there. Thank you, Dan Hackford. I want to say one thing about friendship and loyalty. Danny and I met in 1972. We hung out once in a while backstage. At